Northern Stage presents Shandyland, Pint Size. A short film based on the play Shandyland, written by Gareth Farr and directed by Hannah Bannister. This film is adapted and directed by Hannah Bannister and Zach Harney from the poem There is a Place, written by Gareth Farr. My name is Steve Hewison and I will be playing Brendan, a kind, older man who never feels more at home than in a pub, namely the Cart and Horses. The Cart and Horses is a throwback to yesteryear, a spit and sawdust venue with history ingrained into its mahogany fixtures. Our film takes us on a trip through the history of the pub. We open in the present day with Brendan alone in an emptied bar littered with the remnants of previous festivities. There's a place with a name like a heartbeat. Pub. I love that word. Pub. The smell. I love it. It's like treacle and bleach. Pub. All quiet and still and smoke stained from years. Brendan then takes us on a journey through time. Sally, the landlady, 60, loud, lively and tough as old boots, rings the bell and it kicks our journey off. Bouncing and loud, packed full of fight and fun, pub, pub. Things that make memories and moments of now, just now. We start in karaoke night. Maud grabs her husband Al up for a kiss. We move to a quiet corner where we sneak up on Amy, 20, a free spirit, wildly kissing Faz, 20, who is much more reserved and shy. Like kisses, like stories, <laughs> tall tales that silence a room and never leave you. Brendan is watching this, disgusted and awkward. The camera pans and we see Al, a loud and passionate football lover, watching David Beckham's iconic goal against Greece with best friend Mark, who leap up in elation. Like jokes that explode, real jokes. Jokes that last, that make you move and run and dance and piss. This high moment comes down sharply when Maud, who you met in scene two, has nowhere else to turn during a time of need. Jesus Christ, Lord, have your coat. She confides in our seasoned landlady, Sally. Pop. Pop. Pop like a heartbeat. Amy, in her pyjamas, crawls childlike onto her lap to comfort her. Thrust back into the chaotic festivities once again, it is the 90s again. Brendan is on karaoke this night, extremely drunk in the background, while in the foreground, Mark is nursing a broken nose. He has been punched by young Faz, who is angry. Angry in a way he hasn't been before. Like songs, the songs, loud and lovely. Just you, but all together, just then, just eat wildness and let go. This chaos throws us to the end of a night in 2010. A night where we find Al asleep on the bar. He is a mess. And Amy and Mark are throwing crisps at his face trying to land one in his mouth. <laughs> like eating more crisps than you'd ever eat anywhere else, ever. So many crisps, for no reason. Jesus Christ. 
crisps. The camera pans along the bar and landlady Sally is regaling some regulars with a story of time gone by. Like hundreds of bottles of colour of fire, like a chemist for the soul. A small, scratched word, polished hard like the varnish on the bar. We are snapped out of this world by a coin hitting the bar. Everyone has gone apart from lonely Brendan, counting his shrapnel for a pint that might never be poured. We are back at the beginning, in an empty pub, with ghosts of last night all around. Pub. 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 Where we come alive. Where we live. Like we know what life is. Where do we go when it stops? Shandyland. <laughs>